Isabella, Isabella, it's your daddy. I just want to tell you happy birthday, Isabella. It's November uh, 27, 2018. My daughter Isabella turned eight years old today. Your daddy loves you, baby. Your, your grandmother, Donna Fika, and your grandfather are the, the guy your grandmother met online and married 10 years ago or something like that from Sierra Leone, Africa. His name is Daniel Fika. And it's the typical same story in modern America or dealing with the, with the Donna Montavon family or Donna Wood family or your mom's family, Maria Anita Wood or Maria Anita Davis or when she was with me, when we had you, Maria Anita Williams, 51082 birthday. Your mama signed over her parental rights July 24th, 2018. It's like a cat and mouse game. You don't understand that now. As you get older, you understand what the term cat and mouse means and stuff. And I've been running a race, Isabella, since the guy out of prison, March 31st, 2014. The day I stepped foot in freedom from Tracy State Prison, I only did four months in Tracy. I paroled from reception. Um, April 1st, I checked in the following day, you know, with my first agent, Agent Becerra, you know. But anyway, you know, uh, I stressed it then, and I've been stressing it from 14, now it's 18, and I'm still doing the same thing. I'm trying to fight to be in your life. I ain't did nothing wrong to your uh, your older sister. You're going to find that out eventually when she tells you when you're older or when, uh, when everything comes. Whatever, remember, whatever happens in the, in the dark comes to the light. And you, can only, you can't lie to God. You can lie forever. You know what I'm saying? You can lie to the earth. You can make it look like what's up and what's not, you know, and your mom. And your grandmother, your mom and your grandmother, Donna Fika, they never got along. Ever. Ever. Our whole life, they never got along. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, your grandmother and your mom get along. And I wonder why. Because your mom didn't want, I mean, your grandmother didn't want your mom, Maria, to re back up or renege on anything she had a deal done with your mama because your mom married a Mexican dude named whatever his name is, uh, last name De Leon. So now your mama's name is Maria Anita De Leon, birthday 51082, Isabella. So uh, your mom remarried a Mexican dude, not a black dude, but a Mexican dude. And now she has none of the Mexican babies. And um, she gave you up. You know, she gave you your aunt, your mom. She gave, your mom gave you to your, your grandmother. So your grandma, because she can't have no kids, she did the same thing with your older your sister Mariah. She wanted Mariah to be her her daughter. You know, she numerous times at the age of five, Mariah would tell me, Daddy, why does grandma tell me to call her mom? I said, your grandma told you that? She said, mm-hmm. She told me to call her mom. I said, Mariah, baby, you only got one mom, you got one dad, you got one grandma, and that's the way it is. And Mariah said, Promise? I said, I promise you. A pinky promise, Daddy? I got a pinky promise. And I thought about it. I didn't catch on to it then. But the, the twins out of Vallejo kept telling me, man, Ryan, right, tell them white folks to quit having that girl talking about Mariah. She was five or four or five. Quit having them talk, call that man, her husband, Poppy. Quit having her call that man, Poppy. I didn't know what Poppy meant then. Poppy means Daddy. So I put two and two together. Mommy. Call her mommy and then poppy. They try to play mommy and daddy with you. Cause she can't have no kids. Donna wants kids. She can't have kids. She was gone two and a half years before you were born, Isabella. All of a sudden, the day you were born, she pops back up. And then she kept trying to come over to the house telling me, uh, uh, the sign, me and your mom was having marital issues. She kept using drugs real bad, abusing meth. She kept telling me she wanted me to sign Mariah over to uh, her and sign you over to her. and. I said, no, Don, I'm not giving you my kids. I can take care of my own kids. I took my kids over there so you could help me because I'm trying to leave your daughter being, and I don't want the state taking my kids. I took my kids over there to help so you could help. You know what I'm saying? Not take my kids. So anyway, you know, I've been fighting ever since you were born, Isabella. So I just want to tell you that, uh, you know, your daddy loves you. Happy birthday. And uh, I don't want to be negative, but I'm still fighting my, with my quest to be in you know, your life. I, they, they, they basically took you out of the state of uh, California without my consent. And after the state of California told them to not leave because there was a guardianship at that time still pending, that guardianship was terminated. 
They did not have guardianship of you as we speak. What happened was from there, they filed for an adoption. I had to respond within 20 days. I did that in Sacramento. I responded up to Idaho in 20 days. The adoption was terminated. Then they requested a hearing on it. We had a trial. I lost, but I've been granted an appeal. So I still have my parental rights. You're still legally my daughter. You always be legally my daughter. You're my blood. Isabella Victoria Williams. But your grandmother married this African dude from Africa, Fika, and she wants to give you his last name. So they want to change your name from Isabella Victoria Williams to Isabel, Isabella Jezebel Fika. You know what I'm saying? Can you can you imagine that? And I found out, one thing I found out that I didn't know, I thought once they get the adoption, if they do somehow get the adoption to change your name, I was all paranoid, crying, stressed out, thinking they're going to change your name, and there's no history of me and vice versa. Well, that's not true. They can't destroy the uh, birth certificate, so yeah. You know, they can't, they can't erase me. But Isabella, I love you, and your daddy's still fighting to be in your life, and I did not abandon you. I've been fighting for you ever since. I'm trying to, you know, be in your life. I've tried to, you know, write letters. I, I wanted to, you know, be a part of your life. So when you get older and you go look back at this video, you know, your daddy's still trying to got a whole backpack full of paperwork from the courts right here, brand new backpack right here, Isabella. And all stuff with you, still fighting, baby, from here all the way to Idaho. So your daddy loves you. I got a very important people working with me. I got a district attorney working with me. I got private investigators working with me. I even talked to the mayor Friday on Turkey Day or before Turkey Day. You know, so your daddy's trying, you know. Um, I'm not going anywhere. As long as I'm walking this earth, as long as I'm alive, well, I can think on my own. I can move on my own. You know, um, I'm always going to fight for you. Your daddy loves you. Happy birthday, Isabella.